Hello and welcome to uh, Greek Drama, a mini uh, online learning experience. I'll be your teacher for these four weeks. Um, my name is Benjamin Post and I want to welcome you to this opportunity to take advantage of some online learning experiences. Uh, first of all, I want to go over the basic expectations for the class. First of all, the first expectation is that you complete all your assignments on time. It's very important to make sure that your assignments are done and complete before we move on to the next week's assignment so that you, A, don't get buried, and B, so that when we start to build on some of the things that we've learned, you're not already behind. Uh, second one, make sure you follow all directions. That's an obvious thing to work to need to work on, but making sure that you follow the directions for those assignments so you don't make any silly mistakes. And finally, uh, you must, and this is very, very important, when you email me your assignments, put the correct name for the assignment in the subject line. That is to ensure that your email doesn't get confused with any other emails that I might be getting, either from other students or from other sources, or worst case scenario with spam email that I might be getting. I would hate to have to, to disregard some of your emails because uh, the subject line was something that I wasn't familiar with. To begin this week's lecture, I want to just talk very briefly on the overall basic tenets of Greek drama and centering mainly on where it came from. I know a lot of students in my uh, normal classes will ask me, why do we have to study Greek drama? What's the importance of this? And I, I understand their question, and I think it has a fairly simple answer, and that is that everything that we get entertainment from today, uh, whether it be cinema or sitcoms, um, plays that we might go see, uh, Shakespeare, all of that stuff has its origins in the basic tenets of drama that were created by the ancient Greeks. So, for instance, if they didn't invent uh, the forms of comedy and tragedy, then some of the movies that we love and enjoy may not exist in the format that we're used to seeing. Uh, and, of course, all of this stuff from Greek, Greek, uh, from Greek drama comes from a very bizarre and strange past. It essentially comes from chance and parties that were held to uh, in deference to the Greek god of Dionysus. Now, Dionysus was the god of pleasure, the god of wine, uh, basically the god of parties. And uh, when people gathered together and uh, you know consorted in these uh, parties, they would uh, chant and give prayers to the gods. And eventually, over time the people celebrating these parties got a little bit bored with the chants. And so what could you do to maybe spruce these chants up? Well, they would first introduce a story to the middle of these prayers or chants. And then later, uh, there'd be another evolution and they would add an actor, a protagonist. Uh, you know, terms that they used then that we still use today. And then finally, to spruce it up a little bit more, they would add an antagonist, another character, and then more characters. And then finally, they would add scenery and all these different things that we kind of take for granted as being part of the play started with this very bizarre kind of early stage of being a prayer for the god of wine. So that's how Greek drama um, began. Uh, and you can, will get a lot more in-depth in with those uh, issues and those ideas in some of the reading that you're going to be assigned for this week. And that probably is a good segue into our homework. So your homework assignment for uh, this week, you have two rather short assignments just to get you ready for this experience. First is to read uh, the article that's on the website and answer the eight questions that correspond to that and then email those responses to me. The second part is to watch the 10 minute video uh, on Greek culture and uh, Greek architecture especially and Greek drama and write a one paragraph response to me. So two smaller assignments just to get our feet wet. We'll uh, dig ourselves and uh, put ourselves into some of those more uh, elaborate assignments starting next week. So if you have any questions please feel, uh, feel free to email me with any questions or concerns. I really hope that you have a wonderful experience uh, taking this online course. Thanks a lot.